speak over the ungentlemen. But one big thing to talk about different tonight is that we have hero bands in effect for tonight's game. Both teams decided upon this, and we will be using the same hero bands we see in competitive play, which for that means on support, we will not be seeing Baptiste. There will be no May and no Hanzo in the DPS category, and then no Orisa for tank. So what are your thoughts on that? That's obviously something a little different than we'll see here in some of the other Tranquility matches. Yeah, I'm very excited to see how the teams adapt. Of course, uh, with the May band, you're not going to be seeing that standard meta, so to speak, that we see the the Ryan, Diva, McCree, May, uh, Ana, Lucio, uh, that you see a lot. Um, and then with some of these other bands, especially like the Arisa Bap, uh, that's going to put it into some of these niche picks. You see like uh, the Hanamura Symmetric TP strat where you have the Ryan um, Arissa and the Bat Immortality field to deal with that. Um, so with these bands, I feel like we might see a little bit of dive come out on some of these maps. Because uh, with the Hanzo band, you're also not going to be uh, like a double sniper on Junkertown. So you might see some more diving maps. Although I think we'll still see a lot of Ryan Diva on the main tank. Yeah, Ryan Diva seems to be just pretty strong on a lot of maps, especially here. Uh, one good thing is that we don't have that Lucio ban with that. I feel like that would absolutely shut oh, that goodness. comp down. Oh, I just imagine playing Reinhardt with that Lucio. With no speed. <laughs> oh, God. Stuff and nightmares. Uh, to remind people of our map pool we have going in here, we will be rotating maps through Control. Then we'll go to Assault, Hybrid, then Escort. For Control tonight, we have the picks of Lijong Tower, Busan, and Ilios. Cogfish will have our first map choice tonight. And then for Assault, we will be able to play in either Horizon Lunar Colony, Hanamura, or Volskaya Industries. Going over to Hybrid then, we would have Kings Row, Eichenwald, Hollywood. And for Escort, we could do Gibraltar, Havana, or 66. So with these map picks with these map picks here, again, we have Lijong, Busan, and Ilios as far as control maps what do you think would be kind of maybe a good pick here for pogfish knowing these hero bands we currently have in place oh that's a very good question knowing the hero bands i would like to see them go to something like ilios i feel like if they go to to li Zhang, that's still that's still kind of a very enclosed especially on the control center and can still lead to that uh kind of almost standard meta minus the may comp so i want to see them pick a more open map so busan or ilios both uh with the downtown or like the runes and the well levels, still have some dive and some fair play that you can see, and uh, sight lines for Widow and stuff like that. So I feel like that can give them the edge, because I feel like that's what Pogfish is going to have to do tonight uh, to beat Second Chances. They're going to have to surprise them with something. Uh, if they try to run Mirror Comps, I'm going to give Second Chance the edge here. Yeah, you kind of have to. Second Chance, of course, having some players pretty well known here in the communities, uh, led by Smugs, team captain for the team, season two MVP for Otaku then, and then of course being a very strong player in season three last season, being a Discord all-star, coming in Rocket, another very known DPS player. It looks like Smugs might be fixing over to tank for us. One interesting thing we'll see out of both teams tonight, both have six total rostered players. Um, Second Chance have had a lot of roster changes so far in this season six total i think a lot of that is due to a lot of their heavy scrimming schedule their involvement with open division and just some of the other players that have uh, previously now left the team just having different commitment values you know having work things like that happening but 6v6 should make for a pretty interesting matchup yeah you can uh it's got ups and downs if you're on a hot streak you can continue going but the unfortunate thing is if you're having a bad game you can't be subbed out have that coach talk to you or anything you know so you're kind of on your own and on our own, they'll have to start out with both teams opening here on Busan Reinhardt. So we see a Rhine Zarya over here on the side of the Pogfish and a Rhine Diva over on the side of Second Chance. Both running Doomfist and Momo going in getting really low, but able to get enough of those shields up to take down bites early on here in the fight. And now Pogfish looking strong here. Six to five, pushing in now. This Reaper putting tons of damage into the shield here. And now Rocket falling here on the side of Second Chance. That's two members down, capping the point and pushing them back towards their spawn. And Pogfish winning this first fight. Yeah, Pogfish having the much brawlier comp here with the Reaper at that close range. And then also the bubble for the for the Doomfist as he goes in, mitigating 200 HP of damage. Whereas when Rocket goes in, he's kind of on his own. He's got to get those shields up on Doomfist. Otherwise, he's going to get melted like he did just there. He did, and now we see Smug switching over to the Zarya to kind of counteract here. We see on the side of Pogfist, but they're already up to 82% towards the grab, and the fight's already over. Lucio going down in this fight now, and the ultimate's already going to be coming online here for Pogfish. Smart job for second chance to back up here. You're not going to be able to get that choke there without your Lucio. Yeah, like we said earlier, without Lucio, these comps are just too slow. Smart job uh, going back, collecting all six, and here we go again. 
We oh, see a Bustio actually nice. coming in and dies. Yeeter you, dying while giving off the charge here. Second chance pushing straight into the side of Pogfish. And they're not able to use any ult really counteract this point here. Second chance, a very clean take for them, only using the nano boost to win this fight. And now they're up to here with their shatter. They have the high noon, they have the beat. Rocket getting very close here to the Doomfist ultimate. And they're looking pretty good here to hold this first choke. Yeah, and that's why you need that Lucio. They hit that speed boost button, push, push right in on them. And now we're gonna get a really big engage with the grab here. We do see the grab coming in there on the high noon. We do see bites though with the high noon over on the side, not able to catch much does go down but trades on the other side for checking chance here losing their main tank rocket getting the uppercut here onto the ana and now using the doomfist ultimate trying to push the side of pogfish back and they're going to disengage and go back to spawn here uh pretty smart for them they ended up losing their ana i think it was in that fight and now the uh, second chance looking pretty good gonna be holding up again in the front here we're about match 45 percent for each team now yeah always rough when you use the grab and you don't get anything from it that's such an impactful ultimate as we see here on the side of second chance. Yeah, big ult there from Smugs, but not much damage ready for them. We see the beat saved here from Randy and now being used to engage here for the side of Pogfish. They're gonna be looking to use the Reaper ultimate early on here, but Aqua goes down in the fight. But with that being said, Smugs does die early on and now they don't have a lot of the damage left for them here on the Zarya, but trades happening both ways here and a big anti-nade landing on You Can't See Ghost, but he still finishes off the Reinhardt here and second chance. Still seeming to come on top in this fight so far, but they do have the percentage going up. Rocket getting the nano boost now, going right into the back line, picking off two, looking for a third early on here. And Pogfish are going to have to step back again, getting up to 81% now on the clock for second chance. I really like that nano, actually, as it puts a lot of stall onto the side of Pogfish, and they're barely going to get six together for this last push. They're going to have to scramble to just touch point here. They are, and they're going around here on the opposite side, trying to force out maybe some of the cooldowns and abilities here. Looking for the Shatter to catch his two! Big Shatter there in from Yeter. No damage able to fall through yet, but they are able to touch point here before it starts a bit. Blitz now, throwing out the High Noon, picking off one, but the kills are not there for Pogfish. Second chance, cleaning up over top on the point here. The Lucio just waiting, stalling out for Pogfish as best they can, but second chance coming through and getting the team kill at the end to close out this first point on Busan. Second Chance did a very good job of controlling the choke points there, had excellent rotations, and just the opening picks, you notice, if you notice they were targeting supports, and with these, with these lineups, with these compositions that both teams are running here, that Lucio is key to moving everybody around, and with his AoE healing, keeping everybody topped up as well. So yeah, one thing you end up first, seeing... Yeah, yeah, one thing I think you end up seeing a lot with this is that sometimes, and no offense to Discord Harmony tier, I myself was a Discord tier player until this season, but a lot of times when you lose a healer earlier in that fight, you know, you're kind of already that really want to disengage, you keep pushing in, but both teams, as soon as those healer picks were going down, they were immediately basically pushing back to spawn. And that's what you have to do, you cannot, you cannot push in minus a healer, not at this level, not with, not with the accuracy that you guys have, not with the teamwork that these teams have. Well, they're going to need a little bit of teamwork, it looks like, on the side oh. of Second Chance. Pulling out the oh, Tor! Tor Brigida, father-daughter. Oh. They're going to go over and take Elephant, taking a little bit of, taking Bongo here, a little bit of space, while the side of Pogfish will be pushing in the opposite way. They do have, you see, you can't, you can't Ghost over on the Widowmaker, of course, but that Torb pick, something we weren't necessarily expecting here, that Torb turret kind of protecting the Ana in the back. Now, both Reinhardts are going to go straight in. Smugs now over on the Reinhardt for the side of Second Chance, going down early, and Momo picking off Lucio now over on the Brigida, and looks like Pogfish now are just going to keep pushing in and building up a little bit of more ult charge here before they flip the point. Yeah, I'm not exactly the biggest fan of that turret placement. I understand what he did there. It was that way the other five could push in, and there's still the turret to help the Ana, but Without that added DPS, Torb just can't put enough pressure onto the enemy team. And it just, they just got ingressed on and just collapsed. We do see over on the Sigma as well, Sigma Reinhardt. So interesting tank composition, not unheard of exactly. Sometimes you'd rather see the Risa with that, of course, again, being banned for these games. Ooh. And Bite switching over the Widowmaker at the right time and getting the pick onto You Can't See Ghost early on. And now we do see the Nano Boost is gonna be thrown out here. Not being able to find too much of the yet, but Second Chance are playing this slow. They were up early, but a big oh. shatter coming out from Yeter, catching two members, and Pogfish are going to keep rolling straight over Second Chance. And that's why you nano the Reinhardt. He built up the shatter. He didn't get a lot done with the with the nano kill-wise, but he was able to swing enough safely 
to build up that shatter, hit three, and just wipe them out. Excellent, excellent job. Yeah, great job from them. Bites was able to get that opening pick, but it just seemed like Pogfish were in the right place at the right time now, and they look like they're in that exact same situation here with Ultimate's line from the Mo getting close to the Seismic Slam here again. They have the beat from Randy, they have the bomb here from Laskin, and they're going to have a lot to push in. Second Chance needs to bait a lot out, but they also have their own Nano Boost here. We saw in the last fight how strong that Nano Boost can be, but the shield's getting very low early on for both Reinhardt's here, and a great oh, charge oh, oh. coming through, picking off no shield to block the bomb in from Laskin. Great placement for them, and Pogfish basically winning this fight already. Down three to one pick percentage here with Rocket and with picking one here, but Aqua taking him down at the end of the fight. And that's what you want to see from your team. If you're if you're a Pogfish fan, that's what you like to see. One ultimate wins the team fight right there. That is efficiency. And now they've got four or five ultimates for this next fight coming up. They're gonna have to use it with 96% left here. We see the Gravitic Flux going through. They are gonna pick off the Ana and throw investing quite a bit the rally coming through from their brigida as well but the nano reinhardt still pumping in a lot of damage yeeter does fall but you can't see ghost gets a couple of picks over on the side rocket switching over to that tracer to try to get a bit more damage out and now blitz taking out you can't see ghost here as well winning the widow duel again and with that being said able to flip point over second chance now trying to build back up but they have to hold this for about 90 more seconds yeah, long, long hold here. They cannot afford to lose a single fight. And Rocket swapping back over to them at that McCree, trying to hold them at mid-range here with this uh, McCree Widow. They want to take up more poke damage here. So let's see if Pogfish can push in on them. And a really good angle oh. here from the side of Second Chance. But, oh, you can't see Ghost dominating right now. A big pick there on the Blitz early on. But we, see you can't, but we do see the Sleep now coming through over onto the Diva. Rocket able to pick off the on here again. Two picks now for Rocket. Going, cutting through the side of Pogfish and a very oh, good anti nade there from Aqua over onto Yeeter. Can't heal through that. And another victory here, pushing up to now 50% for second chance. That is a big advantage they have with the Sigma here is that they have effectively two stuns. With the Ryan counter charge uh, Yeeter there, and then Sigma threw in the rock to add in a little extra time on the floor for him. And then the Ana nade came in, and from that point it was just 3v1 bullying. Yeah, these these poor Reinhardts, man, they're just they're just it's they're rough. just big it's they're rough. just big targets for this. We see Momo now switching over to that. Mc they're gonna try to push over to Drum here, and maybe try the advantage that Sigma's holding. But now the high noon being opening up here from Rocket is putting a lot of pressure, making Yeeter. He can't move forward. He can't shatter. He needs to stand still. And a good anti nade landing on the Lucio. Brigitte down, but Smugs is able to pick off Randy early on here in the fight. And both healers now down for Pogfish. Second chance. Smugs throwing in the shatter here at the end, just kind of solidifying that win. And now they're up to 90%. Bits just able to free fire. There was never pressured at all during that fight and just laying down damage, clicking heads like you want to see from your Widow player. Excellent, excellent job from him. So Randy is going to be able to touch you for the side of Pogfish, but the Reinhardt's got to get a point next. He's the only one able to touch next. I don't even know if he's going to be able to touch his but the Gravitic Flux is waiting. Four ultimates thrown out here from second chance. They're able to pick up three here. They're winning the fight so far. You can't see Ghost does pick up one kill, but second chance dominating the point here and reversing back that 99 to 100 and winning Busan two to zero here on control. Yeah, wow, that was such a, both maps very, very close. Really could have gone either way. And that was very, very exciting to watch, but bits popping off on that Widow on the second map. Almost uncontested for most of the map. And you have to hit the shots and he, and he hit it. And that's that's all I can really say on that. It was, it was a phenomenal job. Uh, you know, he did what he was supposed to do. And that kind of won in the fight, I believe. We saw that Reinhardt play the game coming in from Yeeter there at the end. A big shatter, of course. We saw a lot of Reinhardt plays coming out both sides there. We saw a little bit of switching on who was playing that Reinhardt on the side of second chance. But, uh, you know, I, I, you didn't, it seemed to be a lot of DPS picks in these fights. Sometimes, you know, it ends up being, um, you know, like the tanks kind of initiating early on. But a lot of times here, we saw those Doomfist and those Widowmaker picks initializing a lot of these fights, you know, picking off those supports and uh, really opening up for both the teams to push in. Yeah, we're seeing very, very aggressive DPS in that, which I love seeing because that means we're going to see some quick, fast fights tonight. We're going to see, in my opinion... A lot of people diving in deep, diving in those back lines, and these fights are going to be, you know, over very, very quickly. So don't blink. As soon as you see an engagement, do not blink because otherwise you could miss an entire team fight right there. 
exactly. And that's one real fun thing I think a lot with uh, the differences in casting between you know Harmony Transcendence and Discord tier is on these Transcendence tier maxes. One of those picks, I mean that that's the end of the fight right away. I love my Harmony boys when they just run in and start smacking people and keep going. Yeah, we don't with their care. Reinhardts. We don't that's care. That's right. <laughs> and map two is going to be assault for us. Pogfish with the pick. And they will be going to Hanamura will be our map two tonight. Now, I don't know the last time you've seen a Hanamura map without May. Uh it's been a pretty it's been a pretty it's, long time for me. Yeah. Oh gosh. This is gonna be an interesting, interesting map because as as I said in the pregame, you if you want to try to run that symmetric TP strat, you usually run a second main tank, you're usually an Orissa with it, or and you try to run a Baptiste with it as well for that immortality field. So I think that might be out. Um, you might see somebody try it with the Rhine Sigma again. They might try it with that. I can see that happening. But, oh man, Hanamar without May. Oh gosh. Yeah, I it's think, weird, right? I on think attack and see, defense. I think you're going to see a lot of teams either uh, post up on that high ground, um, on the going through the choke onto the onto the left side there, or possibly playing back on the point. I don't think they're going to try to hold that that choke as tightly as you may see in some of your comp games. Yeah, exactly. One other thing I'd mention about the May is that that's, you know, you were mentioning you probably won't see the Symmetra, but let's just say for fun, we do see that Symmetra on attack. That May mm -hmm. seems to be one of the pretty good counters, being able to throw up that May wall on the side of the TP and just let your team run back into the side again. So not having a lot of that like pressure right away, maybe might see some teams like running something really high damage bursty. Like I don't want to say Junkrat, but I want to see Junkrat played on the <laughs> defense there to kind of counteract that a bit. You know, a little rat of the damage boosted Mercy just shooting into a teleporter. Uh, simple things in life, simple things. Just It's just the simple things. Actually, one of my favorite things to do as a Junkrat is when you, if you had to be positioned properly for it, you have to kind of expect it's happening. But when you see the TP go down, you throw your spike trap on the, the second TP. Oh. So whoever comes through just gets Beautiful. stuck right there. Oh, oh! It's, <laughs> listen, I'm a terrible human being, and I'm fine with that. I play the trolliest. I'm, I'm, I'm okay trash. with that too. Hey, that's fine. That's what that's what the trap's for, right? Uh, to catch someone going somewhere yeah. they're not supposed to. Yeah, throw it on a Symmetra teleport. Throw it, actually the best is throwing it onto a somber translocator. Exactly. But um. And opening up early on here. We see Rocket over on the Torbjorn again, opening up here on the defense. Basically the same comp we saw opening up on that last point, on that second point there on Busan, coming out from second chance with that Brigida and that Ana and running the McCree with the Torbjorn. Now we do see, you can't see Ghost right now on the Symmetra for the side of Pogfish. Of course, 20 seconds for them still to change that comp around, but not, I mean, the stun, they have two stuns here on the side of second chance to kind of counteract that a little bit, but I mean, that Torb's really got to pump out a lot of damage onto that uh, onto that turret if they do end up teleporting here. Yeah, they got to be careful, especially if they teleport and the, uh, if uh, Sumi lands a huge nade as they go through. Now you've got three, four, five people purple standing on point with a Torb turret blasting into them. Not a spot you want to be in. No. So now we see Pogfish pushing right up here, throwing down the teleporter, oh. but second chance is ready for it with the... Picking off three megas of Pogfish before I can even rotate my camera. Rocket picking up two. Bites picking up another one through there. Yeeter going down very early in that fight. And now we see Randy going over to the and you can't see Ghost going over to the McCree. Aqua going over to the Ana now. And it was a good try right off the we bat. We told you they were going to be fast fights. Oh my goodness. Yes, it that, was. Was that was over incredibly quickly. I feel like a lot of my main tanks are still waiting at choke about this time left in the map, and we're already pushing into the second fight. And Pogfish, definitely not waiting, but another Jesus. massive anti-nade out of second chance. Laskin going down early, and all the rest of the members of Pogfish low in this room just waiting. Lucio pushing in there with the Brigida, picking off two Rockets turret, finishing off, off, off as well. And another clean six kills there from second chance with ultimates now coming online for them. Big nade from Sumi and big rock from Kazro there. You love seeing that, and just the Torb Torb just biding its time picking people off as they try to escape that room was, <laughs> was pretty fun to watch. Yeah, that double sh that double stun there onto the Rhine just opens up so much space for damage. Now Momo going over to the legs! Break him out early oh, on here in the game, maybe trying to deal a little bit more with that Torbjorn turret. And look how well Second Chance is spacing themselves across point here. They have a great crossfire holding some on the high ground, double shields here on the bottom, and it looks like now... A shatter coming through, not able to catch oh, many from Smugs the here, but they're going to fall. Yeah, they're going to fall back to point here a little bit. Momo was flanking a little bit, maybe trying to get a little bit of pressure there over onto Bites. Not able to catch much there with 
behind with the high noon and but momo now does go down on that flank so it's a 5v6 and pogfish are kind of stuck here on the corner but they are going to invest throwing up the nano boost here onto Yeta early on but another massive oh anti nade lands again oh these anti nades have been just killer for the side of second chance it's basically won them every fight so far sumi with the four player nade that was devastating Man. oh my goodness and that, that's and what you're going to see out of this. They hit that nade, instantly everybody hits that W key. And now, look at these, all the ultimates they have left. Smoke's already back to the shatter again. Used it in the last... How much damage they're able to pump through there. And now they also have the Torbjorn ultimate here. But be looking for the flash shatter to come through here. And oh, almost pulling it off there. Smug's able to get a big fire strike through. Yeeter going down early. The Smug's picking up three so far in the fight. And second chance again winning. Oh. I mean, have we had, what, six or seven fights so far? And there's still a we, minute 15 left for us. We have had a lot of fights. And we're going to have at least one more, if not two, depending on how long uh, <laughs> it appears that Momo and uh, Laskin here want to try to hide. Yeah, they are flanked a little bit here on the side. Laskin does get slept on the side, though. Don't know if they're going to take much advantage of that so far. But it's going to be really hard for the side of Pogfish to push in down two members. We see the High Noon coming out from Can't See Ghost early on. Picking off Rocket! That was big Rocket at the Torbjorn ultimate waiting for them. Now Bites throws out the, the uh, High Noon there as well. Picking off Aqua. No room for those anti-nades now left for them. But Bites picking off Momo now as well is just eating through the side here at Pogfish and looks like they're going to fall back to choke here going to slightly disengage a little bit and Lucio does end up going down you can't see goes picking off a big pick there at the end but it's just going to be a reset for them with 24 seconds left they have the shatter they're going to have the bomb they're going to have the visor here Rocket's going to have that Torbjorn ultimate which is so strong on points like these yeah and that was a that was a very big call of them to realize that they weren't going to be able to get this point into call for the either you know die or get back essentially but oh man we've got a torb on the point the shatter oh. going through not able to oh. catch rocket rocket picking up three kills at the end opening up early four, four kills <laughs> to aqua at the end rocket saving that torb alt for just the right moment pogfish gonna try to push through but they're not able to get any capture to percentage a full hold there on the defense for second chance well placed ultimate right in that choke nobody could go through without taking substantial damage and the turret cleaned up to rocket just oh my goodness he's a man after my own heart right now you know, you really love to see a good Torb play, and a Torb, a Torb 4K uh, by like solo 4K there at the end. I'm sure it had a couple assists in those other two kills. That just brings a tear to my eye. You'll love to see yeah, it. I, I really want to see that again on the play of the game. I, I just want to see it so much. And we might be. That seems that might have been. That was definitely one of the flashier plays we had in that map so far. But we still have an attack left here for second chance. Worst they can pull out of this will be a tie. But they're going to be looking to get this win here. Only needing 33% here with four minutes to do that on their attack. So you got to hold a pretty strong defense here on the side of Pogfish. You have to hold a defense that, you know, counters a lot of comps. They're not going to have chances to go back and switch it all. Whereas second chance has the full advantage. They're able to go back to spawn and really pick anything they want to do here. Everything's in their field. Yeah, and it's going to look like Pogfish is going to run a similar composition, uh, if not the same composition, depending on what Laskin picks here. But we've got the Torb, Ana, Ryan, uh, Lucio. So, yeah, the Lucio except, uh, was the only difference, I believe, uh, Second Chance had a break. They I'm did, yes. Yeah. It was weird, they had Lucio on the break, so I was saying yeah. Lucio. So, That's why I, I was always trying to say break yeah. right after it, so I wasn't at least confusing myself. But over on the side of Second Chance, definitely a comp that looked a little familiar. There we go. Now over, it's basically if, a classic if you're call dive coming Lucio, out. You can only play Lucio. Those are the you rules. gotta only play Lucio. We have Genji Tracer over here on the side of Second Chance, Monkey Diva with the Ana and the Lucio. We're seeing some classic dive. I know everybody's been looking forward to it, but a really good positioning here. This is going to be a hard dive for them to do. We do see um, those were going early there on the Winston, but has to disengage right away. But Aqua goes down. The Tracer pick is there for them. And the Lucio getting really low. Lucio picking off Randy there again. That's two members down, three members down for Pogfish. This is going to be an early take over second chance, picking off four, five, only the Torb turret left for them now. Second chance. Finishing that one early with 324 left in the clock and now winning on Hanamore going up 2-0 here in the series That was such an aggressive dive. You love seeing that a big anti-nade came through uh, onto Randy Winston just came in and just oh It's really tough when you have that anti-nade because yeah Winston doesn't do a lot of damage individually But when you hit an anti-nade and you can't heal up that and he's cleaving three to four people 
and he literally can't miss, that's, that's a rough life. Great job there on the side of second chance. Again, going up two to zero. We saw Lucio I, there on I, the I, repeat. Did you see Lucio? Play the game. That kill I, participation? Nice. Yeah, that's oh, that's nice. Very good job. <laughs> so that again, 2-0 so far here in the map. We'll be going to a 10-minute halftime, but we will be back here soon for you with some more Overwatch. See you soon, guys. <laughs> Welcome back from halftime, everybody. Hope you all went out and washed your hands. Again, 2-0 now. Right now, second chance of up over Pogfish. We will be going to hybrid here soon. And the pick is again from Pogfish. They picked King's Row. King's Row being our hybrid Mac pick tonight. No Hanzo, no May, no Baptiste. Heroes you normally see on maps like these. Maybe going back to the old Ryan Zarius. Yeah. Uh, very surprising, actually, to see the amount of Zarya play instead of D.Va. Uh, but we are seeing some Sigma play. Uh, so I'm happy to see that. Always, always like to see Mr. Toes out there. Yeah, you know, I like it. I mean, I had to grind toes. I'm an off tag player, so I had to grind toes last season. But now that he's just gone, it just feels like, you know, it's like the Wolverine holding the picture, like, you know, when he's crying on his bed to be with Sigma. <laughs> I, I want to see a Sigma 76 meta so that we can get the oh, toes and legs. The toes and legs. Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh, that's, that should ever? be banned. That should be banned. That should be like every week, like, you know, for OWL map pool bands, like 10% chance is just that. I'm so sad the legs got banned uh, this past one. He, he, he just came back. And like, no, he's no. already dead. <laughs> Stop it. Meanwhile, he's May dead. has made it twice through bands. Uh, uh, poor, poor soldier. But of course, tonight, not our banned heroes. Um, we will be seeing, of course, May, Hanzo to radiate to everybody, Baptiste, Arisa. And coming in today, what do you think we're going to need to see change out of Pogfish here to turn this around? I want to see Pogfish go back to what was er working early on Mecha Base there, and that kind of brawly, in-your-face, close-range style. Um, second Chance here is a very, very uh, mechanically gifted and very good with their crossfire uh, that we saw on Hanamura there. So I feel like if they can get in the face, if they can dive the back line of uh, Lucio and Sumi here, kind of disrupt things, and then go from there, kind of, instead of trying to push the tanks, kind of make it a back-to-front approach. They're going to have to try to break through the same composition. Second Chance has had so much strength with Knight. Pulling out the Torbjorn again. They will be running the Lucio this time. Lucio on Lucio, so I have to say it once. Instead of the Brigida, yeah. you can't see Ghost opening up on that Widowmaker. It's going to put a lot of pressure and be able to take out these turrets really early on, as you have already seen. And Pogfish are going to push straight in with that turret down. But another anti-nade coming out from Sumi. Rocket now able to finish off Momo. But Yeter does get one early pick there onto Rocket. But besides that, the kill feed's all blue. Second Chance. Chance, pushing right into the spawn now, looking for these staggers. Yeah, and Second Chance is going to have enough time getting some of those late kills for Rocket to come back, no problem. They might send Lucio back for a taxi, and it looks like that's what they're going to do. As we've got Rocket with the hammer out. Oh, God, I hope we see a hammer kill on this map. Give it to me. Give it to me, Rocket. We might be looking for it. Sumi has been just insane with these anti nades to say the least. Every, like, I don't know how many fights they've won. It's gross. Good anti nade I do like seeing that switch over for the D.Va with them. I think that's their only way of really trying to combat this a little bit. The D.Va does try to take a little bit of pressure off the high ground, but gets d mech while well, you can't see Ghost goes down the pipes early on in the fight, and that's already two picks. That is one thing, bad thing about running the Torbjorn. You can't really stagger the baby D.Va because the turret will just do it for you. Rocket, though, picking off two more here as the fight goes through, just cleaning up through these spawns. And we see side of second chance going to the spawn door to get these final kills for them. And just building up the ultimates as they do. Second so. chance is bloodthirsty tonight. They they are not going to give a single inch. They're, they're saying we're not going to give up a single tick, and you're just going to have to deal with that. And like I said, I want to see something aggressive coming out of uh, Pogfish. I want to see this Doomfist coming out. I don't want to see this Torb Tracer get in their face, push pressure into them. You know, maybe I don't know. I think Torb, Torb Tracer is like that that uh, solid DPS duo you see in like all your comp games. But we do see yeah. Momo now going over yeah. to the Genji. A full dive composition now coming out on the side of the Pogfish. A lot of anti-dive. Second chance waiting for them. That Torb turret is going to put a lot of pressure and eat up a lot of those resources for that D.Va and Monkey early on. And all the ultimates mm -hmm. just waiting for second chance as well. It's gonna, really hard for them to pick a target to dive here. All right, well, they got the turret out of the way. That's step one. But oh my goodness. Second chance said, okay, you want to hold this little bit of high ground here with your dive heroes? We're 
push through Hotel on the other side. Bites picking off Yeeter there at the end as well. Free falling, almost getting a tick there, Momo trying to back cap a little bit, but second chance says we don't care about that. We'll just kill the rest of your team just for the little bit of time. Second chance sacrificing the turret in order to get that team kill. That was just such a brave, brave sacrifice made by Rocket there. And now five ultimates for second chance. Bites is, just waiting for the high rough. noon. Uh, one minute 20 left as well. They do have the nano here. They can maybe, I mean, they don't want to maybe put that onto the monkey to get up a little bit of charge here on the primal rage early on, or they want to save it for the nano blade and free with the gravitic flux there, taking out Yeter early on in the fight. Momo to fall, picking up the kill as well. And another fight won with just one ultimate here for second chance. They have another four ultimates and halfway back again to the high noon. Yeah, the ult economy from second chance has just been on point all night tonight. Whereas you feel like the side of Pogfish, they're trying to just force it. They're either overusing or underutilizing when they can win it. And it's just it's just not there tonight for them. It's not. And look at this rotation from Second Chance. We see uh, the, the dive takes here on the side of Pogfish. Taking a bit of the high ground. Second Chance giving it to him and falling back. Now they do see the nano boost coming. But the shatter coming out. Catching two smugs again with the great shatter. Just picking off enough targets to basically end this fight. And again, finishing off Momo, 21 seconds left. Pogfish have to re go back to spawn and try to recontest here with oh. only 15 seconds. And that's unfortunate for Momo. He wanted to stay alive a bit, 14% from that blade. And I think that's what they were trying to build towards. They were trying to build towards this nano blade to finish the fight. But a Torvald here is going to cover the point. Oh, Rockets, Torvald Smith's in the perfect time. They do throw out the nano boost early on. There's no beat to stop it. Momo picks up one, two, dashing through. Randy getting another one here onto Bites. They're up 3-1 now here with the f trading through. Pogfish pushing in. It looks like they're going to be able to win the fight there. Rocket kind of left here doing the best he can there on the tour, but not able to hold through. And maybe a little bit early of a beat coming through that fight there from Lucio on the side of second chance. And the nano blade came through with just enough time there from Pogfish. Not yes, a moment to lose. Barely. But that was Barely. a good job from Pogfish, knowing what their win was and fighting around it. That's that's what everybody always talks about in these in these uh, high level matchups: is what's your win condition? How do how do we win this team fight? And they knew what it was and they played around it very very well. They do, and now Pogfish not going to have tons of time left here to push second. But the ultimate economy slightly shifted back in their favor right now. They're going to have a pulse bomb to throw in here pretty early on, maybe trying to get a pick on one of those healers. And then we also have the bomb here. Bomb being really strong on the second point and deciding to take down the turret there from Rocket. That's a very rude. good pick, That's honestly. Rude. <laughs> it was a little rude, but they're going to keep pumping damage here into Smug. You see that shield getting dangerously low, so they're just going to throw in the bomb. They do catch Crow early on does pick off the shield for pogfish but ends up trading back again but oh they're gonna nano boost on the smugs but he's taking a oh, snooze no. <laughs> no damage able to come out for that trying oh. to get a beat fire strike there not trying to lose all of the nano boost going through but a good hold there early on and pogfish is gonna push back in off of that nano and oh momo gets slept though momo getting slept again but while taking that little bit of snooze and down Pogfish is able to clean up uh, the side of second chance and they're going to be looking for 45 or so seconds with this getting close to the second point touch here. Now we do see Crow kind of standing a bit here on the side. The Tracer did find where he was standing but he does have that Gravitic Flux here early on. Now we do see second chance pushing right up. Smug's not wasting any time getting right up here to the choke. They want to stop this cart and maybe stall it as long as they can early on. We see the Gravitic Flux coming through the Shatter from Yeeter coming through, catching a few, and oh. not able to catch any, but it doesn't matter, the cart! The cart reaches! Second Chance isn't able to stand on the cart, and it pushes through to second point, Pogfish. Oh no we Oh no we That was so... So Smugs, charging, Brave trying to charge the D.Va off of the map, but forgot about those three second boosters, they're still in effect, I don't care what Experimental says going with the fancy reset but now look at this alt economy shift over on the side of pogfish and so much free push here they're already getting around the second corner for free not a single not a single uh second chance member able to even get close to the cart right now and considering we were expecting this fight to basically end over on first point uh i would say they're doing pretty good but second oh. chance jumps right back in picking off four very quickly, Rocket getting another big pick. This time, the Diva will fall off the edge of the Diva's own accord, though. But good job there. Pogfish didn't really have to invest anything. They didn't burn any of their ultimates there. Uh, but we see pretty even. 4-4, four to four, basically, ult economy. Yeah, this is going to be a very good fight, though. Uh, 
we're getting very close to the end here, so you might see a lot of these alts used in this fight. So if you're a fan of particle effects, get ready for some excitement. A really good bomb placement catches Bites, who was going for the high noon, but not able to find any. Do see Yeeter now getting that pick over onto the Reinhardt. Rocket there throwing out the Molten Core, blocking all of the space on cart. But Pogfish still coming out on top. Rocket now falling. And we see Smugs now asleep on the Diva here above cart. So Pogfish will get a bit more prog uh, cart progress before they're able to contest again. And now the Diva getting demeched again because getting That's pretty close huge. to that ultimate. That is very big for Pogfish. The beat is perfectly timed though for Momo's Dragon Blade. Not able to pick any up here. And the Rocket coming out on the Doomfist, getting the pick there onto the back line. And Pogfish are going to have to reset with only 20 seconds left. Lucio learning from his mistake on point A, t saving that beat just in time for the Nano Blade. And that's, that's the only way that this comp can really counter. They don't have too much else. They You can try like a, a high noon, but it's, it, it's very iffy. They're gonna have to try something. The nano boost will be there for Aqua, and they're gonna open up right now into Yeeter. Yeeter getting so close. Be big here for the team, but Crow has the shatter as well, which Reinhardt will win it here for their team as we push into overtime towards third point. And the shatter going through, catching three, but Smugs is there with the bomb to put a lot of pressure back there on the pocket. They're not able to push forward on it. Now the high noon from Bites in the back line, taking out the Lucio in second chance are gonna be able to hold here onto third point, cleaning up these last couple of kills. And Smugs' Diva Bomb was perfect there. Perfect. Very good job in the last fight, but I do have to credit Pogfish here. A very, very strong push from what was almost an entire first point hold without a single tick. So, you know, big props to them for, for pushing it almost to the end of third point. But yeah, that Diva Bomb, that Shatter combo was just Devastating. Uh, that's on the that's giving me some ghost flashbacks there, where your job as Diva was either to eat grabs or to throw your bomb to give your team some space. And space it made. Second chance, not getting the first hold that they were ex we were expecting there from that original defense, but again stopping pretty much almost at the end of third point there. Still very winnable for Pogfish, and it needs to stay winnable. They need to push for that reverse sweep if they would like to get the victory tonight. Second chance, of course, will get the victory if they're able to push past that mark there towards third point. We will be playing four maps regardless, so you get to hear my terrible play-by-play -play casting. Still a little bit longer regardless of map layout here. But opening up now, second chance will be on the offense, and we will again have Pogfish on defense. Running with the McCree Reaper, we see that Brigida and Amoira actually going off of the Reaper to the Torb again. I, have we ever seen this much Torb in a, in a I, match, I, let alone a I, Tranquility I, match? I was about to say, I, this is some gold level stuff that we're bringing out. This is some <laughs> harmony tier level stuff that, that these guys are bringing out. But we love to see. Trust me, we are not complaining. For all those teams sure that are watching tonight, this is yeah, what we yeah. want to see. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. I think the Torb 1v1s are supposed to be later on in this, like in April or something. I think it was this, supposed to be tonight. This is why but we second... tune in for the Friday night feature. Exactly. So now we see Rocket over on that Doomfist. A lot of work on the first map with that. I know you were wanting to see that. And now you will see it. We see Pogfish, though, taking a little bit of that damage, letting the turret push in and weaken some of those resources over on the side of Second Chance. The turret goes down, and Doomfist Rocket going right in the back line, picking off Aqua early on. The anti-nade was there for Sumi again. Yeeter falling low again, and Second Chance just straight up demolishing point one and lightning speed. Absolutely incredible timing. As soon as that turret went down, Rocket charges in, the anti-nade followed up, and just... Pogfish got wiped off the map. Oh, just just that textbook play there from second chance. Great textbook. To watch. And now look at our Reinhardt. Over now, back to 93%. Again, also worth pointing. You sometimes see this with Harmony tier. Maybe some of the Discord. You see your tanks switching roles. We've seen both tanks around the side of second chance playing both roles. Something that really shows the flexibility of these players to be able to switch their tank roles at such a high SR. And now pushing it's, through second point, we got impressive. Pogfish. Yeah, very impressive. Hogfish is going to be holding this early choke point here. I definitely like this, but they need to watch out for the Shatter coming in. Not able to catch much. The shield is ready. They tried for the combo. And the Nano Boost, they're going to throw it in. They lose Rocket in the fight here, but the Fire Strike catching one and two falling down. And second chance investing everything. Two going down there from the high noon as well. Second chance are going to keep pushing all the way through. Smugs trying to get the stagger there onto Randy, and they are able to do it. Five minutes left here oh, for dude. second chance. Barely. That was just a brute force second. fight. They they just they forced their way in there. The the shatter didn't work. They're like, screw it. We're putting the, we're putting the nano in our main tank. Everybody screw hold it. WM1.
and we're just we're, we're, right. just, we're just gonna win. It is, and look at all the percentage that Crow has now gotten back onto that Reinhardt. But four coming up it's on almost six shatter. big ultimates, though. Yeah, look at all these. Look at all the ultimates waiting. Cover they're trying to do the. Shatter. They're trying to do the flash fights, and it comes through. The flash shatters. Perfect. The anti there as well. Second chance, able to clean up. Smoke's thrown in the bomb just to try to keep things <laughs> as much as lightning Alaskan. speed as they can. Alaskan. Oh, Alaska, trying to stall out card as best they can. They need all the time they can because we have five minutes second chance to push basically to the end of third point here. And, I, I mean, have they lost a fight yet? I, I don't they think lost they've lost a fight on this they attack lost yet. Half a fight. I'll, I'll give half them blocking fight. the shatter. <laughs> Aqua now going to open up early on, but gets punched out of the cold lessons. And now we see you can't see Ghost has to pop the torp early on here just to try to give him a little bit of time rockets seismic slam no not fear. able to catch much yet but he does go down in the back line the diva was waiting for the side of and the punch shatter coming through just out of range the beat is perfectly timed there from lucio second chance now re-engaging back into this fight the high noon being popped now from bites not able to catch any the eats are there from laskin on the diva but look out for this torb in the back line randy is able to dmech and take out spugs early on noon but second chance, the cart's still pushing. It doesn't matter who's winning this fight. Second chance is getting all the progress they could they could want. You see the bomb though, Laskin having to throw out that desperation bomb, not able to catch any. And now the nano onto Rocket, looking just to clean up the back line here of Pogfish, catching one, going down in the process. But we have a minute 50 stuff left, and it's all second chance in the kill feed. They do lose their Ana in this fight, just trying to take out this ball that's stalling out cart here with the Lucio. And second chance, win, looking baby. to finish this with almost four minutes left on the clock. Oh my goodness. The kill feed is just all blue right now. All, all inside of second chance. And a high noon coming here. Zones oh. everybody. The zoning high noon's enough to push it off. Second chance, winning King's Row. And of course, winning tonight's match. But don't go anywhere. We still have map four coming next. And course, very maps, important. Maps mattering for us again towards our playoffs or the hero. Yeah. In the end. That map differential, we see it in a lot of leagues. You see it in Al, you see it in Contenders, you'll see it in Tier 3 and all the way down. Map differential is very, very important. It can make or break your, your playoff scene. It can make or break getting into the playoffs at all. Mm hmm. And just. And of course, both teams going to be looking uh, as our off system goes to be looking for that higher bracket of course being 2-0 tonight uh we're gonna see second chance going to 3-0 pogfish going to 2-1 and one. but uh those maps are gonna matter a lot when it comes towards seeding in the end in the first place so um yeah go, let me let me answer this map question real quick we're having in the chat here just a little bit of confusion about we have play four maps but uh, so we, of course, we're going to be playing escort for our last map tonight. Going to either Washpoint, Gibraltar, Havana, or Route 66. So, what what would you be picking here for Pogfish about what you've seen working tonight? Ooh, uh, probably Route 66. Actually, I feel like if they can get it, they can push the cart well. We saw that on King's Row, and mm -hmm. if they can get it to third point. 66 with that enclosed area at the end there i feel like that'll fit their style a little bit but i feel like they can get it in there they can get they can get it kind of brawly they can get it kind of dirty and grimy and those are the fights that you know the fights that they've won during this match have been these kind of ugly i don't want to call them sloppy but they've just been these you know dirty bar room brawl kind of fights whereas second chance is taking these kind of very nice crossfire routes they're they're pushing in strong. They're, they're they're kind of slightly more elegant in their approach to to winning these fights. That's right. And we'll be going to Watch Point Gibraltar here for our escort map. Oh, some yeah, dive interesting maybe? pick there. Yeah, maybe a little bit of dive. We've seen both teams kind of doing it. Maybe a little bit of Widowmaker on defense, possibly. We did see a we did see Ooh. some success there. Out of you can't see Ghost and the Widowmaker back on Busan. Yeah, I would love to see another duel between Ghost and uh, Bits there. That would be. Oof. I love I I love Widowmaker. I know some people are like, oh, I don't like the one shot mechanic. I love a good maker. It is always tense, always exciting, and a fight can change on a moment's notice. Exactly those opening picks like that, and also I love just I love seeing a Widowmaker. You know, having 
Bane. Just it's always interesting to see what when they're gonna jump out, when they when they're saving their visor for those widow duels are always fun. Hoping to see that here when we get to Gibraltar. Which uh, we will be starting right here for us now. Again, this will be our last map of the night going in. Maybe expecting some dive. I mean, they're definitely expecting some diva. That's just a given. At this yeah, if, if you're not running diva here, you're, you're, you're thrown. You're hard thrown. I'm just gonna At say least on it. attack first point. And then the second point, I mean, you need that. You need some kind of mobility to help, like, you know, contest the ship a bit. If not, you're going to have just so much damage. Yeah, that ping, you got ping pong up and down. You got to do something. Some second chance. Yes. Some Doomfist, actually. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't mind to see some Doomfist here either. A little open on this first point, but after it starts getting closer to the yeah. end of the point here, definitely a lot of walls for Doomfist to get a lot of knockbacks into. Second chance going to be opening up for us here on the defense. And we see a dive set up for them. We see the legs. We see the Lucio. We see Genji. We see the Winston. Something you see a lot on defense here. Oh, it's... This is a bold pick, my man. Bold pick. Ice in the knees right now, putting a little bit of water on the kneecaps, getting stretched out before this hey, fight. He's not a young in. man he's anymore. Gonna... No, he's not. He's going to have some interesting targets to be shooting towards here. We do see a dive uh, attack here starting up on the side of Pogfish. Maybe going to end up seeing an eventual Widow switch as well over on the side of Second Chance if you can see Ghosts is able to put in a lot of work. An interesting hold here, the Winston holding very close to Carp. I'm expecting a, maybe a pretty early dive here from the side of yeah, Second Chance on the point. Yeah, maybe not expecting a dive attack. Mm -hmm. And we see the Mercy over from Randy trying to pocket this Genji and Widowmaker a little bit. And then, oh, what an early dive there from Crow, just waiting. Waiting for the side of Pogfish to jump forward, kind of baiting them forward and being there for the follow up. Again, Sumi with the anti name, just coming in massive oh. again for their team. And another <laughs> I mean, one there at the end. How, how do you get the anti names like this so consistently? He is he is flexing so hard tonight. It's, it's really, not even really fun. impressive. Yeah. Bites getting that picked on the You Can't See Ghost with the Helix Rocket to finish it off. We see Eater trying to be a little the back line and almost holding the spawn door from the side of second chance they are gonna end up back here a little bit um using a few of their cooldowns just to try to get a bit more space momo trying to get a little bit of damage but those anti-nades forcing the side of them to push back a little bit more with that being said though that counter dive from crow is just having so much space for the side of pogfish they're not really even pushing cart yet for getting the first ones really on the cart now trying to push it around this corner the second chance they're fine with holding up here. Actually, you can keep trying to dive as much as you can. Come in this room, do something. Yeah, it's very smart what they're doing because what they're also doing is they're very much limiting the sight lines. That can she's limited to her spawn. She she can't get any off angles. She can't she can't flank them at all. And they they can just focus on the rest of the team without having to worry about this widow. And Pogfish doing a great job splitting apart the members of Second Chance here. They're able to pick off the Winston and now the Brigida. No longer going to be here. We do see Remek coming in here from Lazkin. Uh, and a good pick there from You Can't See Ghost taking down Bites. Now Pogfish are going to be able to push forward here. Now this Widowmaker is going to have the sight lines. But look out. We have Nano Blades on each side here. And no big defensive ultimates in place to kind of counter this yet. Whatever team's going to get it off force will have the advantage. And we see Rocket 1, 2, dashing in the Nano Blade, picking off the Mercy and the Widowmaker and pushing through it that will be another win here for second chance rocket going in and winning this fight almost single-handedly taking down aqua here as well now and now two minutes left here for pogfish watch out we still have the genji here in the back maybe gonna try to dive on this honor or go for the pack cap yeah that was a big kill though uh bites had his visor so we're probably gonna see a counter blade coming out right now aqua just coming out of spawn we do see the visor now from You Can't See Ghost, giving them a little bit more advantage here figuring out. We see a nano boost coming in over on the Momo. Now he's dashing through, looking to find those picks. But the rally from Lucio on the Brigida is perfect. And oh, they're going to throw in the mines on both the healers trapped in this room. Hogfish trying to take on the back line, but he's Lucio on the Brigida said, no, you're trapped in here with me, taking down two members of Hogfish, showing how strong a rallied Brigida can be, and Rocket picking off two more members again, getting up now to 70% on the next blade, and second chance, cutting it down to just a minute left here for Pogfish to push into first point. Brigida's a support hero, by the way, I don't know if anybody got that. <laughs> Oh, so much sustain, so much sustain. That armor is nasty. That, what the? I believe with the rally you can get up to an extra hundred armor, uh, over boost. 
So very, very yeah. sustainable. And if you throw an armor pack onto somebody else, that's another 50 there. So you can have an 150 armor onto somebody. That's that's going to take a lot to hack through even for a nano blade. That it will. Randy now using the Valkyrie, able to res milk. But not really any ultimates are going to be available for Pogfish yet. We see you can't go over to the Tracer now. Trying to get something up. And now we see another nano blade coming out from... Being able to dash through, pick up one. Bites throws in the Ultra 76 visor as long with side of it and picking up another one. Second chance. Just kind of just finishing off these last staggers here. Pogfish going to try touching card as best as they can to push through. But this is all second chance. Yeah, very, very dominant performance put on on this map. Holding, not letting them even get the first point there. And just showing that they can play different compositions as well. We haven't really seen this full dive out of them too much tonight we saw we've seen it a little bit but for the whole map they just were very very devastating and fights doing a very very good job on the soldier you know not a not an explosive performance not something that you know you're gonna be like oh my gosh he's super popped off there but definitely played very very well for a pick that we're not used to seeing very often Second chance looking incredibly dominant tonight. Being one of the team's favored to win the tier here coming in towards this season along with Havoc. And I would say they're performing to that standard right now. I've had a couple of serious rebuilds early on so far. But this doesn't look like a team that's really been playing with this new roster for only a couple of days. This is like a team that's been has been playing. <laughs> that's scary. That's a scary thought that this is a team that just just kind of came together now. Yeah, the 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 team, so to speak, has been together for a long time, but these members on the team are, are very, very new. And man, if they get a couple more weeks together, they get some scrims together, they get some coaching under their belt. Watch out, Havoc. These guys are coming for you. And they're coming hard. Coming for them, they are. And we do see them opening on kind of a dive attack. Looks like they're going to start with here. You see, you can't see ghosts over on the Widowmaker here on the defense. Momo over on the Genji. A couple of last minute switches coming through on the supports for the side of Pogfish. But a pretty interesting defensive hold for them. We do see that Diva. We see that Ana. And we see. Uh, we see the uh, Roadhog right now over on the side of Second Chance, maybe looking for that hook right off the edge here to see if they can get someone holding on the high ground. We yeah, see we'll the see monkey as well here, with maybe. that. But no, actually pushing forward, going with the monkey, going with the Roadhog. And holding up on this high ground here, Second Chance, going to be just pushing through a bit. Oh, Bites, what did the Widow do early on, though? And there's a lot of the pressure that Pogfish was going to have to kind of block this positioning. So Second Chance is going to take advantage of it and push right into the room here. And we oh. see Aqua now going down as well. That's a lot of the healing. And Pogfish have basically just have to keep falling back and try not to get picked Bites. off. But Widowmaker has range for a reason. Bites just getting all of the picks, oh, picking no! off three in this fight. But the, you're supposed the, to win that 1v1. He is supposed to win that 1v1. We do see Randy being the anti-widow Lucio in this fight. You can't see Ghost pushing forward, trying to escape here, but that's a big, meaty Roadhog blocking a lot of the space for them. Second chance, already taking the advantage with just one on payload, kind of holding these spawn doors for them. We see the Zenyatta, actually, from Sumi. I didn't see that switch over and ends up dying early on in this fight, but I don't know if it's really going to matter too much. Second chance. Just trying to deal with this wrecking ball who is stalling through point right now. Bites just getting oh, so much, so many picks there. Getting a little bit of payback on Randy for winning that last fight there. And a second chance getting up to two meters left here. It's up to the Genji and Tracer to stall point here for the Pogfish. With them falling now, it's going to end here. Second chance with a dominant victory, winning 4-0 tonight against Pogfish. And that's what happens when that Widow gets that opening pick onto the opposing Widow. She just gets to shoot un unabated, just free shotting the entire enemy team, getting, I think, three kills in that opening fight. Got the uh, got the enemy Widow, got the Winston, and I think got the Genji as well, if I'm not mistaken. So just very dominant performance on this map by bits. And we see Lucio there playing the Brigida, getting another play of the game. Is that the second or third play of the game we've seen coming out from second Lucio there? At least. This has been a night of supports, man. This, sometimes it's kind of hard to notice how well supports have been doing, but I mean, we Sumi see all these massive... Off. Yeah, Sumi on the anti-nades was just, I think, was so game-changing. Sumi so absolutely game -changing. had fight-changing nades, is the yeah. only way you can put it. Fight-changing, fight winning nades. Yeah, definitely my player of tonight. I don't know who you've ever seen there for. For second chance, definitely Sumi being my player. Yeah, definitely has got to be Sumi off of uh, second chance. And for Pogfish, I would probably pick... I'm actually going to I'm 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 going to do a little weird one here and I'm going to pick both of the tanks because they did a good job. F they they also flipped, you know, both 
main tank off tank a little bit and they mm. I feel like they did a good job. Yeah, they they weren't as strong as the second chance tanks, but they showed very good skill and did a very good job uh with what they had to work with, I guess, so to speak. That they did again re- recapping for you guys, we have second chance taking the victory tonight. Thank you all for tuning in tonight again, joining us here in the Overwatch Tranquility community. This was a transcendence tier match here in Pool B, the score 4 to 0. Thank you again to Second Chance and Pogfish. I have been Boo. Thanks for your first cast tonight. Anything you want to say about that? I really enjoyed having it along. I think it was a really good one. No, I had an excellent time out tonight. Um, obviously, being a player as well, I'm not going to be able to be here all the time, but I'll try to get on some more Thursday night broadcasts, maybe some of the Tuesday night features, and uh, go flashbacks. That's right. So, again, for Cavalier, our producer tonight, thank you again. And for us here, thank you all for tuning in. Make sure you tune in Monday for the Iris podcast and our normal feature schedules. We'll see you guys later. Have a good night.